Welcome to Charcard. My name's Neil, and I hope you're all doing okay at the moment. And thank you very much for joining us today. So today, we're going to focus on the new... The Battle Decks. Of course, there are three products that's released here in the UK on the 5th of February 2021, which let's hope it's a much better year. But why is there so many products the same thing? Because these guys are cool. Do you know what? The Blastoise and Venusaur is one of the best Pokemon out there. They're the original OG when it comes to Pokemon. That and, of course, Charizard. But, you know, maybe that might be the 25th year anniversary. Or maybe we might see a Charizard in the future. Let's hope so. So I'm going to crack open these boxes. Let's find out what's inside these. And, of course, I really, really hope you enjoy this video. And if you do... Smash that little like button over there. Hit it so hard it disappears off your browser or off your phone or your phone's cr the screen cracks. Something like that. <laughs> so, in the Blastoise V set, of course, I've got the Sky Cam here. So, if you want to have a look, you can pause the video to see what's inside. Let's find out what's in the two singular ones first. So, there's the Venusaur one, this, and then the Venusaur on the uh, Sky Cam, if you want to have a look. Now, I'm going to be interested in seeing some of these because some of these cards here are fantastic. Here we go. Oh, dude, look at the size of the coin. Look at that bad boy. I didn't realize they had that. I thought they were little teeny, eeny, weeny ones. So let's see what we get in here. So, of course, my. F Do you know what? Bye bye, deck. I just got the coin. <laughs> Coin's amazing. Of course, we get these cardboard steel damage counters. Very nice. We get a single play mat. Oh, look at the artwork. I lo I'm loving this artwork. I've heard a lot of people say they don't really like it, but do you know what? Blastoise looks big and beautiful. It'll give Chunky Chew a run for his money. And of course, we get the uh, quick start rule. So this is a, a nice new book. So remember, stop it on the page if you want to have a look. There's quite a lot of a uh, bump in there, shall I say? Oh, look, the Venusaur coin. I want a Charizard coin now. I want to, I want to get the collection and send them off to PSA. Biograded gems, of course, because they're a good bunch over there. This looks like it's a, a bit like the back, uh, the um, Battle Academy. It's telling you how to move the cards and how to do. I'm liking this. However, this is focusing a, an awful lot on Venusaur. I've just noticed. Where's Blastoise? <laughs> no worries. But you know, at the end of the day, there's quite a cute, few good things in there. Like in the uh, rule book, um, I was off camera with most of that, I do apologise, but some of you are professionals, you all know what you're doing with these games nowadays. And here we go, so the Venusaur V Battle Deck, hang on, this ain't the Venusaur, there we go, the Blastoise V Battle Deck, very nice. So it tells you about the hose them down. <laughs> it's pretty cool, I'm liking this, I'm loving these. So these might be the new replacements of theme decks. I hope so. I mean, I love the theme decks, um, and I like the uh, battle decks as well. Of course, you guys might have seen it already, so here's your code card. Good luck to you out there. I hope you win with this theme deck, and let's have a look at this beauty. What a lovely looking card this is. I guarantee I'm going I'm to wait a little bit longer. I'm going to buy a few more of these Blastoise ones, and I'm going to get them graded because these are beautiful cards. This ain't a bad card either. So I'm just going to place them over here. Boop. There we go. It's good. We've added sound effects. Of course, we get uh, some fake teeth to keep the uh, children happy during the, uh, you know, the half-term holiday soon. Very nice. So, of course, comes with a battle deck as well. I won't talk through all the cards because at the end of the day, uh, well... No, nah, I won't talk through the cards, because at the end of the day, there's lots of cards in it, and lots of them are duplicates from previous things, so Energy Retrieval, a Switch, Shark Pedo, Gym Trainers, Kavana, some more energies, Dreadnought, a Tutor, a good old Hop, uh, what else we got in here, a Bedair, a Dan, a Kavana, a Hop, a Cramorant, very nice artwork, that one, very nice. Uh, another Dan, some uh, Wishy Wishy, a Volcanion. First time we've seen him in water. Normally he's a fire type Pokemon, so I'm looking forward to playing around with that one. Gym Trainer, uh, a Barrascuda, one of my arch enemies in my first ever Rebel Clash. Great Bull, an Aracuda, Kavana, Tutel, Hop, Capacious Bucket, <laughs> uh, Sharpedo, um, uh, Cramorant, F Evolutions, Incident, Bede, Sonya, Volcanion again. That's nice to see two of those. Dreadnought, Dan, Hop. An Aracuda, another Dan, Great Ball, Wishy Washy, Capacious Bucket, and some bits of it. Very nice deck. So, do you know what? 
I'm impressed with the blast. This is the one I'm gonna have more fun with. Um, I prefer this to the Vivid Voltage Charizard one, which, do you know what? I've still got one just to my left. I've never opened it because I can't be bothered. I don't know what it is about the theme deck. I just can't be bothered. And I've still got the uh, battle deck with the uh, Zacian and the uh, three Amazing Wonders, as I call them, from uh, Cosmic Eclipse. I still haven't opened it. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do an open of those. Um, because, you know, at the end of the day, if you want me to do anything cool on this channel, leave it in the comments. Go and leave me some questions. Because I've had a few questions recently. Look at the Venusaur coin. Boom. <laughs> Very nice. So I have a few questions already, which is quite nice that people have left in my um, previous videos. And the first one is from Compact Galaxy 39. And this is a, a, a very good talking point at the moment for everyone out there. And he also mentioned, what are your thoughts about Logan Paul? Well, at the end of the day, if you don't know too much what's happened with Logan Paul, he did a very big video um, last year and he purchased a original base set booster box. And he opened them up, he auctioned them off, and uh, some big names got the cards, and there was a German Pokey collector who got the original Charizard Hollow, and it's a PSA 10. <laughs> very nice, and uh, he did very well with that. But this time, Logan Paul has uh, obviously uh, brought the Pokemon market up even higher. Um, it's a very good thing. Growing strong, that's what the ha that's happened with the Pokemon community at the moment. It's growing stronger. So he's done. Something a little bit more outrageous. He's gone and bought six more boxes of the base set. And do you know what the one thing that I have gone and done? My inner 12 year old has exploded. I would love to have had the opportunity to have had a booster box when I was younger, when I was about 12, when Pokemon first come out. Um, I would have loved to have a booster box of the base set. I can I just stop there right there? That Venusaur V, do you know what? I take it back. That is a gorgeous looking card. I said a while ago when they first released this, this card's gonna be no good. But so, because this bit was hidden, this is lovely. Look at all this decor here. Well, the, um, was it? Uh, pe Petal Dance attack. Is it Petal Dance? I could be wrong. But what an amazing looking card that is. So I might buy a few more of it. Well, I've got two. I mean, that's enough. I don't need any more than that, do I? So, Logan, yeah, he's bought six booster packs, a uh, booster boxes, uh, base sets, and it's amazing for the community at the end of the day. Because A, a lot of us can't afford it. And B, um, I'm, I've heard so far he's put some of the money towards charity. So that's a good thing at the end of the day. He's doing something good for the online community and also, you know, Poke Collector. I mean, there's a lot of us. I look at him today. That's lovely. I love the artwork on that one. He's managed to get a lot of collectors sparked back up and getting to enjoy the game. And he's the one who's made Pokemon lit again. So I'm happy. I think it's great. I mean, obviously, it'd be nice, you know, if he can get some of the small boys to open up some of the packs as well. That'd be quite nice. Um, but at the end of the day, what he's doing for the Pokemon community, he's spreading word and making it fun all over again. One of my favorite plant Pokemon. This Pokemon is growing on me, Elder Goss. Loving it. Gossifer, uh, Yamaka. There, look at the artwork on that. I love this. I love sunsets on these. I love sunsets. I love shooting stars in the background. So, do you know, I was very happy with this Venus Orb set. When I when I bumped into Yamaka and Gossifer, very nice cards. Um, but other than that, they're mostly the same. To be honest, they've all got the same type of cards. You've got Sonya's. You've got Dan's. A good old hair across one of Owen's favourite ones there. Jim Trade. The only things that have changed, they are just. A few grass Pokemon, that's all it is. Um, personally, I'd rather have a Volcanion than a Heracross. But other than that, it's very good. Um, yo, the Blastoise, I give it a I give it a good solid A, I do, the Blastoise. And I've lost I've lost the box. Where's it got? There it is. So yes. Eight for the Blastoise. I give like a seven to the Venusaur. The reason I would have given it six, but that card gives it seven. Now, why is this box different then? Why spend that bit more money to get one of these? The uh, battle decks, the cheapest I've seen them so far is about £13.50, which is a very good price because they're meant to be RRP 15, so very good price for those. And these at uh, was it £30. Uh, the cheapest I think I found this is about £27.50, which is a very good price again as well. So uh, why this? And of course, on here, that is why. 
additional cards. You get two bosses orders foils. You get a Marnie, a quick ball, and a turbo patch. And of course, you get the exact same deck as well. So I'm looking forward to open this one. This is this is, I'm more looking forward to open up this than the individuals, and I don't know why. Um, I know they're bringing out a new version of this. I think it's going to be about May time. So I'll be looking forward to seeing who it's going to be. So let's crack open to this one. Let's see how the code card is on this one. Whoever gets that co car code, card code, code code, <laughs> let us know what you get. So it might be two individuals. Yeah, do you know what? It's two individuals in it. I thought it'd be like a double pack, but it's uh, two individuals. Still good. So yeah, the Logan Paul thing. I think it's good for the Pokemon community. And uh, do you know, at the end of the day, let, let's, let's just enjoy it. He's opened up packs that none of us can open up and they're too expensive. So which obviously it's going to bring up the price of the XY evolutions up even higher. So if you can, get out there and buy those XY evolutions because I think they're going to stop printing them after the 25th anniversary. Um, but oh, look at this. Oh my word. I wasn't expecting this boss's orders <gasps> okay this is one that is going to be hot i love this i'm loving the foil on this look at the oh, oh dude <laughs> well there you go that's not meant to happen is it <gasps> you get two of the i thought there'd be giovanni oh dude these are amazing wow um, okay, I, 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 I'm highly saying yes, go get this set. Oh, Marnie's aren't a uh, foil, which is a shame, and good old turbo patches. Actually, say about turbo patches, have I got it? I did have it around here somewhere. Oh well, I've lost it. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, yeah, I recently made a purchase of a turbo patch gold card, and the guy sent it the post. Absolutely the best packaging I've ever seen a card. Right, so let's. Oh, look. Right. Please leave in the description what you get for this code card please because i would love to know what you get for this here we go good luck to you out there let's see what you get let's see if these are identical so coins check they're identical what about the uh, venusaur check so another question i've been asked as well by uh, jacob studios he's asked i haven't been able to find any shining fates anywhere can you recommend anywhere well to be honest I recommend places like your total cards. I recommend um, chaos cards, legitimate places. Um, eBay, there have to be. There are some honest people on eBay. I have seen a few pre-orders go on sale, and they're a very good price. I mean, I saw the other day one going up fifty-two fifty, and I thought, you know, I'm not going to buy anything because I've got one on the way. Well, I believe I've got one on the way. Um, so why why bother buying too many? I thought so. I know a few few of my friends are after them, so I'll tuck in, but I thought, well, I'll go back to that seller, but nope, that seller sold all 10, and I can't believe how quick they sold. They sold near instantly. That was a bit sad, that was. I thought, well, you know, there's probably a, someone scalping that, unfortunately. There's a lot, there's a lot. Oh, look! At, oh, that's good, you get another code card. You get three code cards in it, so if you, if you haven't, if you don't get enough Venusaur and Blastoise, you get some more, and here's a lovely card again. Loving the artwork on that. Looks very nice. Here we go. Doing the lower cam as well. I might feel neglected a few times with the sky cam. I'm enjoying the sky cam. It's more fun. Uh, cards. I will flip through these very quickly. So, shine the face. Um, yeah, try your local card shops as well. Um, I've noticed a lot of the card shops can't change their websites to do pre-orders. They just have saying sold out. So, my suggestion, you always email them. Um, they're, they're, you know, the small little car shops are great to support. Um, there are sometimes just normal shops that sell Pokemon as well, which is worth contacting. Um, I've got a few under my belt that you know I'm good friends with, and I know quite a bit of information from them. But um, they're struggling with Shining Fates. I mean, they they've got huge allocations, and it's not fun for them apparently. So uh, you know, they've, they've some of them, some people have already done. They sold their pre-orders, and they haven't got enough for them now. So uh, you know. I know a little bit about business. Uh, don't sell stock you don't own yet, as I say. So there you go. So this is a, the V Battle Deck Venusaur and Blastoise set. There, so this is showing you a bit more of the uh, features in the gimmicks with some of these cards, which is very nice. Um, yeah, don't don't buy them on eBay. Don't get scalped. I mean, just wait because apparently there's uh, waves one, two, three, and 
yeah, one, two, and three coming out. It's a bit like the Hidden Fates. I know there's some more Elite Trainer boxes coming out very soon. And uh, if you buy it on eBay, it's going to be too expensive, to be honest. Um, but like I said, if you want any more questions asked, or just want to just general chit-chat about Pokemon, just, just leave it in the comments. I mean, I'll try to uh, answer most of your comments. Um, even if you do post first, I still say second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and as far as we have to go. At the end of the day, the Pokemon community is amazing. And I'm kind of new to the Pokemon community. I only jumped into Pokemon back in 1999. Um, but <laughs> I came back uh, when my son got interested in doing Pokemon. And then I carried on doing it and I enjoy Pokemon. I'm enjoying collecting again and... I try not to go a bit OTT with the collections. I always try and keep one of each item that I love to pieces, and then I open up all the other stuff. I mean, to be honest, I had a booster, uh, not a booster, but I had an Elite Trainer box, uh, Burning Shadows. I love the look of the Necromo uh, Necro Necronancer? Necromoons? Anyway, I can't pronounce it today. <laughs> I love the artwork. Anyway, I had to open it up, didn't I? I used it on one of our shorts, and it was the worst box i ever opened up i had nothing in, not even a sausage in there so these cards look like they're the same as well uh nothing else different here i'm hoping just to see something just random poked in there <laughs> like a wishy wishy <laughs> as i said the volcano is absolutely amazing uh dynamite steam flip two coins this, this attack damage does 120 damage for each hit head dude that's gonna be that's gonna be a critical card to play didn't realize it was that good Pop a few more of those in there and you'll, you'll be up for a winner because it's a basic Pokemon as well, which is really good. But so far, thank you very much, everyone, because you guys have been amazing through all of our videos. I said we're a new channel and we really appreciate for all the comments, love, likes, subscribes, bell dings, uh, anything at all. We, do you know, at the end of the day, I'm enjoying this so much. And I love, I'm just carrying it on because I'm enjoying all this Pokemon stuff. And I'm, I'm enjoying and get engaging with you lot. Because at the end of the day, before I did this, I, I didn't really talk much online. I, pff, I don't have an online presence, to be honest. But now, you guys are making it super for me. So thank you so much. And uh, of course, stay tuned for some more of the shorts releasing. Um, I've just done another batch of shorts. I don't know if they're going to be any good or what. But I will just double check later on before I submit. Other than that, but thank you so much. Remember to hit that like button. We really appreciate it. And you guys stay safe and I will see you very soon. Bye.